Uh, my beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It is wonderful to have you here, and I'm um, really excited to be here as well. Um, because we have a little bit of an interesting situation going on um, in the world around us, um, I thought I would take this week and look at three different areas of life, um, money and resources, health and well-being, and love, um, which would be family, friends, and romance. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do that. Um, please understand, uh, my friends, that um, it is um, being a reader does take on um, uh, we do feel a responsibility in the information that we bring forward. Um, well, I do, um, and I think all readers do. So please understand that we are looking at into a general energy for the Sagittarius people, that this reading will not resonate or will not fit for all of you, that each Sagittarius um, person will be going through a different experience depending on where you live, what kind of work you have, um, what your own personal experience is. So please understand, I am going to go into the energy of money and resources, health and love, um, but that each and every one of you will have a specific um, experience, all of your own. And um, uh, please do not make any life decisions based on this reading. So I am going to go into these energies and it does make me a little bit nervous, but I think that um, I, I'm willing to do it if you're willing to understand that this is a general reading. So let's go ahead, um, let's begin. Um, I'm going to look into the future now. I'm not going to look at the current energy. I'm going to look into the future, and I will look into the future um, for the next several weeks. Uh, in the extended reading that I'm doing, I am going to go um, into the people who are around you, and then we will take this um, one more step further with money and resources, health and well-being, and love and family. Uh, love, which would be family, friends, and romance. Okay, so the general re reading is going to go out a period of time. We're looking at several weeks or a month, maybe. Um, it's really even hard to know. We're going to allow spirit to bring forward the information. And then in the extended, I'm going to look at the people who are around you and look at these same areas, taking it even farther out several months into the future. All right, let's go ahead and get started. At first, I'm going to start with money and resources. So let's go ahead and get money and resources out on the table. Money and resources. Wheel of Fortune did flip over, um, didn't come out, so I like that it flipped over. I think that's a really good sign. Just one more. All right, there we go. Let me read this, and then I'll move into what health and well-being after I'm done with this, just so that the energies are separate. All right, let me get into this here. We start off this reading with the Queen of Cups. Next to the Queen of Cups is a Page of Swords. Next to next to that energy is the King of Pentacles and then the Justice energy. Um, so um, I have to remember what category I'm in. I'm focusing on money and resources now. So when I go into the Queen of Cups, it talks about um, having, having this... Um, um, with the filter of money and resource, resources over the top of the Queen of Cups, this is telling me that this group of Sagittarius people that I'm really um, connecting in with, and I think it's a general energy for Sagittarius this week, um, that the Queen of Cups energy is talking about having, in, having an internal balance, understanding um, what is going on around you, and being able to um, kind, kind of come to terms with that. Um, find a sense of well-being, a sense of peacefulness, um, and, and a sense of compassion um, for how you are feeling about money and resources. This is a big energy. This is an internal, um, an internal energy uh, with, the, with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, and, and when you apply money into the energy of love, it talks about understanding money and resources perhaps in a different way. Um, it, it is not an energy of action um, with the Queen of Cups. It's an energy of internal understanding, compassion for um, the, the issue around money and resources, and um, also the focus um, here to um, stay stable um, within one's internal well-being, to stay sa stable um, and balanced when it comes to the issue of money and finances. Um, it's important to to remember with the Queen of Cups that the Queen of Cups must always, um, if she is to be healthy, um, it's important for her to fill her own cup first. 
Um, when her cup is filled, then she can extend out what runneth over to um, the people and to the environments around her. And I think that is a um, good piece of advice when we check in with the Queen of Cups and how she um, is best, um, how she best finds her fulfillment and her center of of, of gravity, her center of balance is by making sure her cup is full, um, making sure that it can runneth over so that she can take that excess and then do with it what she feels um, is is most um, beneficial. Um, so moving on now to the Page of Swords, we do have um, an energy here with the Page of Swords of a watchfulness um, with money. So there is a watching energy and um, watching and waiting energy, maybe... Um, when I get into this energy, it does feel a little bit, there's a little bit of a cynical energy here, which is totally fine. Um, it's a questioning energy. It's a watching energy, um, learning to trust or, or working on trusting with this page of swords energy. It is, um, let me get into it a little bit deeper here. There's a there is a, a mindfulness now on um, understanding how money and resources will have an effect in your life and in the lives of the people around you. Um, and there is a it's a watchfulness and the watchfulness is um, perhaps remember the page of swords is a learning energy. It's a student energy. It is a vulnerable energy. It, it can even be awkward. So there is some. Um, it, it's a stalking energy too. When you talk about not stalking, but like a watching, watching and following energy. So you know, w around resources and um, having what you need to be successful, there is a sort of a um, when we're watching someone because we're insecure. Like let's say we first met someone and um, we don't really know very much about them, but we're interested in them. And sometimes we can get a little bit um, too interested. We can start um, wanting to look them up or we could want, you know, it's, it, there is an energy here of watching it and following it. This could be talking about our um, worry about stability when it comes to resources, when it comes to food, uh, because resources is a big word. When it comes to food, when it comes to, st you know, um, items that we need, there's a little bit of a watching energy here with the Page of Swords. Moving forward with the King of Pentacles, we do see here um, a focus on making decisions and taking actions that will um, bring in abundance um, in, in the bigger picture of things. Um, the King of Pentacles is a, a spousal energy. It is an energy of... Um, managing the coin, um, looking at the big portfolio. Um, this could be an investing card, um, watching investments. Um, the King of Pentacles is an analytical thinker, and he looks at data, he looks at evidence, and he makes slow, calculated decisions um, based on that. So there could be a little bit of um, money priorit prioritization here. Um, I love that the King of Pentacles is here. I think that is a um, great energy to have when we look into money and resources. It's an energy of um, looking at what um, the big picture is and making decisions in, in the safest and most stable way to maintain um, and to bring in abundance. And that's what the King of Pentacles does best. Um, I think that there is a real focus here on um, how you feel internally with money and resources with the Queen of Cups and how you feel externally um, in your reality with the King of Pentacles. These are two both really beautiful um, uh, feelings here uh, with the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles, Sagittarius. And I think, uh, honestly, this is a group of people who have figured this out. This is a group of people who have found a way of finding internal balance, compassion, love for one another, understanding how valuable money and resources can be. This is the humanitarian um, love energy of money and resources um, mixed with compassion and caring and love um, with the Queen of Cups. And then a very caretaking, um, resourceful energy with the King of Pentacles. Um, we do have the justice energy here as well. So it, it does look like things will become fair. There will be a systems put in place. There will be um, uh, um, a, a balancing now of the energies. So it does look like uh, there will be, there will be, um, uh, 
there will be a sense of right, rightness, a sense of fairness. Uh, I think that when I look at these two um, sides here, it's almost like there's two different seasons with these two different um, scale, the scales here, one side is summer and the other side is winter. So it could take a, um, a little bit of time. We could be moving from spring into early summer for perhaps, um, but I do feel like there is going to be victory here. There's going to be success. Remember the justice energy is taught. It talks about victory. It talks about win-win. It talks about making sure that both sides um, of a situation are, um, are considered and that both sides are um, uh, treated in a in a manner that's fair. So I really like, you know, to be honest with you, these energies that have come out today with money and resources for Sagittarius, um, they are so very realistic. It is such a gift to get these kind of messages here because we're talking about internal um, stability, um, revolving around money and resources, how you feel about money, and how balanced you are and how compassionate you are. It's this watchful energy, this watching energy. And of course, all of us are watching now. We have the King of Pentacles, which is an overall um, management of money in, in the big picture. And the King of Pentacles, if the King of Pentacles is a ruler, if the King of Pentacles is a king or a, or a world leader, that's what the King of Pentacles does. He manages his kingdom. He takes care of, takes care of it. He maintains it. He keeps it in good order. If the King of Pentacles is um, a, an energy within your home, the King of Pentacles energy takes care of the home, maintains it, keep, keeps it in good order. So you can really apply this energy um, from the mass population up into the world leadership. Uh, and that justice energy talks about having um, stability, having um, balance, having um, decisions um, and rulings made uh, in, in a fair way and having victory here. Um, it could go over a period of, of some time um, before all is said and done here, as we move from um, season to season, I don't necessarily think this is summer and winter that's a timing for us, but I do see that there is a change maybe um, moving from spring into early summer or moving, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, moving from fall into, into winter or something like that. All right, let's move into health and well-being now. Moving into health and well-being for Sagittarius. Health and well-being. Health and well-being for Sagittarius. Health and well-being for Sagittarius. We have the Three of Cups flipped over, but not coming out, just flipped over. There we go, Seven of Wands. All right, so with health and well-being, we start off with the Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands is an energy of passion, excitement. Um, the Knight of Wands is is a is an interesting energy. Uh, it, it is a bursting energy. Then it will calm and it will settle down, and then it will burst forward again. Um, the, this energy of the Knight of Wands is an excited, enthusiastic, passionate energy. There could be a lot happening. Um, there could be. Um, situations here where people, this, the Knight of Wands energy is forward movement, it's progress. Um, when we're talking about health and well-being, um, it looks like there's going to be some sort of uh, fast moving energy that's, that's, uh, remember the Knight of Wands is a rescuer energy. Um, it's a, we can do this. We can do this together. Let's fight this. Um, it, it's an energy of um, lacking or, or being able to step through fear to accomplish something. The Knight of Wands can really do that. Um, it's, it's an energy that's a bursting energy, so it will filter down the excitement and, and um, the passion and even, um, even a rushing, a rushing of energy that will slow down because remember, an explosive energy, the Knight of Wands is. So it's an in and out type of energy. So that energy will slow down. So if you're feeling really um, agitated or excited or um, full of doing things and making sure things get done and doing this and doing that, that will kind of settle down here in the next few weeks. We do have the Five of Cups energy. This is an energy of... Um, it's something that's bringing in change. It does affect the emotional center. It does affect the heart center. And there could be sadness here. There could be um, really, uh, there could be regrets. 
um, with the Five of Cups, th there is a, a, a situation like, oh my goodness, how did this happen with the Five of Cups? Remember, it's a five energy, and the five energies create change. They are, if you have a bunch of five energies, the same for me as a reader, I consider them very similar to the Tower energy. Um, they might not be as fast as the Tower, but they do create change, like the, like the Tower also creates change. So, there is something here that is affecting the heart centers um, that is going to create change. It's, it, there could be people here with anxiety and stress. Um, there could be people here even um, sad about something. Um, it's hard with the Five of Cups um, to move forward in a way. You could kind of get trapped in a situation. You could be trapped. You could feel emotionally trapped in something um, where you're kind of trapped in time, trapped in a situation. Um, you will eventually have to move on um, with the Five of Cups. That is an energy that forces you to move forward. Um, and remember, the next energy after the Five is the Six. So then you'll move into the Six of Cups energy, which is harmony, balance, um, soul connection, family. Um, so I, I think what I feel with health and well-being, um, that there is a rush right now. It's an energetic rush. Um, and eventually um, that energy will will settle down. Um, people will become, um, it, it's it's a settling energy, a settling down energy, but there's sadness, there, there is fear with the Five of Cups. Um, there's regret with the Five of Cups. So there could be things that people are thinking, like I shouldn't have done that. Like, why did I do that? Or um, and the Five of Cups has an energy of being connected to the past. So, uh, and and when we're connected to the past, there is usually a need to move into the future and disconnect from the past. So um, there could be a lot of different elements happening here where you're having to realize, okay, the past is behind us. This is now. This is the present time. And we're moving into the future. And so um, there is almost, in a way, will have to be somewhat of a disconnection from the past with the Five of Cups. Moving um, forward into the into the Page of Cups, um, as we move forward, it looks like we see um, uh, a there's a sense of freshness. There's a sense of new inspiration. There's compassion here. There is love and vitality. Um, there, there is inspiration of the heart. Um, I do feel with the Page of Cups, there are messages of love. There are feelings of love. Um, there are um, um, feelings that this is a beautiful new time period in a way where People can feel refreshed about humanity and refreshed about the world around them. There could be a, a quieting, um, a, um, a quieting energy of noticing the environment around you, noticing what's going on around you, a calming, a stopping to appreciate the world and to smell the flowers and to talk with the birds and to be one with nature. So it does look like there's a slowing, um, a bit here with the page of cups, but. Um, along with this, this more, more sad energy that we feel here, there's also an energy of inspiration and, um, and love here and affection and, um, being in the moment of life with the Page of Cups. So the, there's a lot of different emotions that are flowing through Sagittarius right now. Here's this energy of Sagittarius right here. This is you. Then you have these emotional feelings that you're, that you're moving through, um, with sadness and, um, Anxiety, maybe even, even with the five of cups, um, looking at what is happening around you and saying, how could this even happen? How can this be? And then we have the seven of wands, which is a protection energy. And as you see, these people are, um, stopping, stopping the floodwaters from coming onto their land with sandbags. So there, there is an energy of protection here. So there, this is group of people who are working to, um, advocate for, for themselves to keep everything at bay to make sure that they um, um, have strong boundaries in their lives, that they know what is a, what is appropriate for a boundary, what is, um, you know, what is within us, the, the circle of protection for each and every one of us. Um, and, and how do we feel about um, protecting ourselves and our families and our children and our older people um, and our, uh, and our people that are less fortunate as far as um, health or, um, finances or their own, um, personal well-being. So with the seven of wands, this is a, this is an energy of taking action now to, um, create protection for you and protection for those that are around you. But still there are complicated energies here. There's excitement. There's helping. 
there's um, moving forward in, in, in an energy almost of adrenaline. There's sadness here that will need to be, um, as time goes, goes on, it will be disconnected from just a little bit. Not for all of you. There will be people who lose people here. So when we're in this energy, we are um, recognizing that there will be people who will lose people. Um, and this is a horrific event and it's tragic. Um, we have to remember that people lose people all the time through from health situations or from accidents uh, and, and for a number of ways that people lose people and for us not to forget that over the years that many of our mothers and fathers have passed, that our children have passed, that our brothers and sisters that have passed, our friends have passed. And um, we have to remember that um, life and death is, is a circle um, that we all move through um, and this will maybe give us all um, and remind us all of having um, an understanding of what um, kinds of situations that others might be going through um, in in the next in the next few weeks. Okay, let's look at love. And anything can really come out here: family, friends, romance. I'm just gonna pull four cards. We'll see what comes out. Love, love for Sagittarius. Love for Sagittarius. Eight of Cups. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Ace of Wands. So we have the Eight of Cups. Let me go dip a little bit deeper into the Eight of Cups. Looks like there's been a walking away or a departure or moving away from something. Um, something that maybe you put a lot of time and effort into. These cups look empty though, so there's it could be partnerships or friends or, or people that um, you that have taken departure from one another business partners perhaps these could be co-workers that work together on something with the two of cups remember the two of cups is is a is a are is are two energies that are um, complementary energies are usually not similar energies they're usually energies that complement each other rather than are the same um, sometimes when we get two people together that are the same it's hard for those people because they both perhaps maybe they're both bossy people like I'm kind of bossy with my family well what would happen if um, there there's eight of us so some of us are bossy and if the two bossiest ones get together and then who's going to be the boss right we're both trying to be the boss um, th that's what I mean with complementary energies there's usually someone who thinks one way and acts one way and the other person that thinks another way and acts another way and when they come together it's productive it's it works well when they come together um, so there is, we're, we're talking about people here who have, who have partnerships together, where it's lover, where even if it's lovers or coworkers or neighbors, um, it does look like there's some sort of departure here with Eight of Cups. Um, someone could have walked away. You could be leaving each other. You could be taking the Eight of Cups is not always a walk away forever energy. You know, we could even be talking about, um, people taking a break. This could even be social distancing now that I think about it with, with the Two of Cups and the King of Swords making decisions, being discerning, looking at the big pig, looking at the big picture and making choices and decisions and judgments about really how to handle the partnerships and the people in our lives. Um, the Two of Cups is the energy of emotion. So somehow we're talking about people here that affect the heart centers of others. So you could be, um, in your life, um, really, having people who affect your heart that are partners to you in one way or another and really having to make decisions. Okay. Um, it's time now to take a departure. It's time now to um, have some distance from this person with the eight of cups. So this could be talking about social distancing here. I, I could see that that could be how, but there could even be people here who um, have had to leave each other, perhaps are separated. Um, there could be relationships that are breaking up for some reason or another. King of Swords is an energy of Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Two emotional energies here. So this has been hard. This has been emotional. And there has been some sort of an effect here on partners, people who are 
heart connected here, who work together, who love together, or who are um, together for some reason. And now that there's some sort of a departure of that, we do have the two of wands here um, with with love. It, it looks like over the next few weeks, there, there are some action plans that are going to need to be decided upon. Um, there is some game strategies, some different choices here with the two of wands. This is how to take action and and what exactly what exact action to take. We have six of and we have the fool. So we have six of um, what was that? Six of cups. I flipped it over. It's six of cups and the fool. So this could have to do with family. Again, we have soul connection here. It's like this is going to the roots, roots of it. Seven of Cups, making a decision, having a lot of options, and maybe not even knowing what to do. It could have taken a little while to like come up with this game plan or come up with this choice with the Seven of Cups. Um, there could be a lot of different options of what to do. Could take a little while here to figure this out. Looks like there's some different ways to do it. Tower, a big surprise coming in. Big changes here with the Tower. Um, not really expecting this, and it's creating... Um, change here, unexpected change, rapid change. And usually with a tower, the maybe the foundation wasn't sturdy, um, doesn't always have to be. I think there was a big change, a big surprise here with the tower, leaving, um, leaving this group of Sagittarius people like not sure. There's a lot of things that could be going on, not really sure what to do, um, not really sure which option is best, trying to look into the future of each option and imagine which way would be the most secure because we're looking at heart energy, which way would be the most secure, which way would be the most manageable, which way would be um, the most healthy um, because there, there is this tower coming in here and there's some choices here that are going to be made in the next few weeks about what to do. We have the three of wands energy, which is an energy of optimism, energy of realizing that um, there is a better day, um, seeing the shooting star and, and realizing that, um, the universe moves forward, that time moves forward, the sun will rise this morning. Um, we're looking at the Knight of Wands, or the, the Three of Wands energy. It is nighttime, and we know that the sun will come up over the hills there. Um, I, it's interesting with all these lights around this person. Are these fireflies? Are they angels? Um, what What is around this person here that's sparkling like this? Um, And we have to realize, too, this is not just one person. There's a puppy here, too. So um, this is about friendship. This is about everyone. This is about the animals as well. Then we have the Ace of Wands, which is new action, um, new possibilities, new passion, new excitement, doing something new for the very first time. This is taking action and doing something new. Wait, see if I can get more for this. Four of Wands, new stability, shelter, home life, happy home, creating um, a stabilizing structure, creating stability, redoing something here with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, reinitiating something, moving into a new way, taking action in a new way. It does have to do with home. It has to do with shelter. Could be new work agreements, new working plans that create structure and foundation I mean, you know, if you notice the house here with this tree, um, with health and well, with, with love, that it, it's, there is a realization here how important it is if this tree fell over or a branch fell off this tree, that this, this home up in the tree would be impacted. So there's something new that, that's happening here, um, that new actions that are taking place, new, um, something rapid, something happening here, powerfully happening, something new taking place here with, with shelter, with foundational um, shelter with the Four of Wands. Interesting. Let me see if there's anything else. Just a couple of energies of guidance now. Energies of guidance. Energies of guidance. Temperance is here. Knight of Pentacles is here. And the Three of Cups tried to pop out, but I kind of caught it. So I'm going to just go with 
Three of Cups is an energy of togetherness, union, friends and family, new ideas, new emotional realizations, new epiphanies that affect the heart center with the Three of Cups. Te the temperance energy is an energy of patience, understanding, understanding that um, we're looking at some situation here that's complicated, that it will take time, um, understanding that um, it is it is necessary now to um, be compassionate and allow things to really um, come together in, in a way that will address a multitude of energies um, with the temperance energy. It is a Sagittarius energy. So it is a, it, this is something Sagittarius that you are going to really affect in a, in a positive way. This um, situation that we're in and this time that we're in now is very natural for Sagittarius. There is a can do energy. There's a fierce, passionate energy and there is um, a, a lot of understanding and patience and, co and compassion that is found within the Sagittarius people. So, um, it's, it's very much fitting that the temperance energy is here. We're looking at the Knight of Pentacles as well. And Knight, Knight of Pentacles energy is that it could take a little bit of time. This, all of this could take a little bit of time, um, but there will be stable movement forward. Um, there will be um, a, a focus now on creating plans that will be long-term solutions, um, rebuilding money, uh, moving forward in a way that makes sense. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't play around. Um, this energy is, um, when, when this energy moves forward or comes into our existence, it really does bring change. Um, it brings stability. It is a, a kind and compassionate energy that looks at the overall health of a, of a family unit or of a workplace. Um, it's grounded, it's, it's uh, stable and, and secure. So it does look like there is going to be progress that made, that's made, the progress that's made will help to stabilize, will help to um, bring security. It might take a little longer than we are expecting for it all to happen, but I really do like that the Knight of Pentacles is here because it tells us as we move forward, the energy that we're going to be moving in is going to be a stable, abundant energy. And it could just take, um, it could just take a little while um, for all of this to, to kind of get together. All right, my friends, um, that is the end of the reading. I um, hope that it's been helpful. I wish you all the best. And um, I'll be back next week with, with another reading. Thank you, Sagittarius. I am moving to the extended now.